Okay, this is going to continue our lecture on the nervous system. We have just a couple of things to finish up for that lecture, and that is uh, two main structures of the, the human nervous system um, and uh, also in, in animals and even in invertebrates, we see these structures, and that is the eye and the ear. All right, so these are major um, physical structures of the body where we have a lot of nerve endings that pick up information. And we're going to start with the eye. So the eye, uh, vertebrates have a single lens eye. Um, now we have um, insects have com compound eyes, which are a little bit different. But we're going to look at the single lens eye. And uh, basically there are photoreceptors. We mentioned the different types of receptors, but there are photoreceptors uh, that are, are used to pick up this uh, light information. Now in this, we have a cornea here, and the cornea um, and lens basically fo uh, focus the light on photoreceptors that are in the retina, shown in yellow here. So it focuses light on the, um, on the retina. And in this, um, we have two types of photoreceptors located here, and the two types of photoreceptors are rods and cones. So rods and cones are both um, neurons, uh, and they both function in the eye and picking up that photo information and sending it on to the brain. The difference between the rods and cones is they, they get their name from their shape. Part of the uh, end of the cell either has a rod-like or a kind of a tapering cone-like shape. And... Um, but the rods basically function a little bit differently. They pick up shades of gray and dim light. Oops, sorry about that. Let's see. They uh, pick up shades of gray and dim light, and then the um, cones are used to see kind of full color and bright light. All right, so that is uh, our different types of photoreceptors. The other major structure we want to look at is the, uh, the ear. The ear is, utilizes mechanoreceptors. That's another receptor that we looked at um, uh, in, the, in the previous podcast. And the mechanoreceptors pick up mechanical or that energy of movement. And so what we're having here is sound waves that are going to uh, be moving uh, in order to send this information. So the ear, the structure of the ear itself, can be grouped into three parts. We have our outer, middle, and inner ear. So our outer ear is um, that big flappy thing on the side of your head, the outer ear, and it has a canal that uh, is going to basically kind of act like a funnel and collect sound waves that are channeled in. So as you're listening to me talking, that sound is coming in through your um uh, final and it's going down this auditory canal and that's part of your outer ear so that's the first part and then we move to the uh, middle ear so the next thing is that sound hits uh, your eardrum that's in there so you don't want to be poking things in your ear you could mess up your eardrum so that sound comes in there hits that that drum and then attached to that drum are three bones. So these, this is a chain of bones. And when that drum hits, it moves those bones and kind of rattles them. So when they rattle, um, they, they move. And then there's a hammer, anvil, and stirrup. And those are named basically based on their shape. One looks like a hammer, one like an anvil, one like a stirrup. The stirrup is attached to the inner ear. So that uh, chain rattles and then the stirrup is kind of hooked to the outer part of the inner ear and um, so when it rattles it rattles that outer part of the inner ear and and the inner ear we have um, these structures and let's see I think we have a slide yep here we go to the inner ear and um, oh, let's see I haven't pulled that out this is looking at both Here's the inner ear. Okay, so in the inner ear, we have what's called the um, uh, cochlea. The, cochle the cochlea is the coiled tube, and in the coiled tube, 
uh, of the cochlea is the organ of the corti. Now, the organ of corti, we have these hairs, hair endings that uh, are attached to an uh, auditory nerve, which tr basically transmits information to the brain. Now, the, uh, there is fluid in here. And so when that sound wave comes through that chain of bone, it rattles uh, the uh, outer part of the cochlea and it moves the fluid inside here. And that fluid moving is going to move these hairs that are attached to nerve endings. So as those hairs move, it is going to pick up that sound wave and um, that is, and then that movement there, uh, again, mechanical energy, energy of movement is going to be directed to the brain to um, uh, incorporate that information. All right, so those are two main structures of uh, the, uh, the nervous system that we see in the human uh, body and in other groups. Um, and that's where we end. So that ends the lecture on the nervous system and actually that ends the lecture on this unit. And um, so we covered all the systems uh, that we see in, in animals, invertebrates and vertebrates, and um, again, a surface coverage of, of all of that. So a lot covered there. Uh, our next unit actually goes into plants. So move into something completely different in the next unit. All right, that ends that.